also monitoring the situation and in contact with local EMS agencies. In terms State of officials of, uh, met to discuss the rising temperatures reminiscent of the severe California heat wave of 2006 when a two-week stretch of well above average temperatures cost more than 130 people their lives and more than 25,000 cattle were lost due to heat-related illnesses. Phase two of the statewide heat emergency plan is already in effect with excessive heat watches going on in much of Southern California. A number of state agencies are taking precautions to combat the heat already. The Department of Industrial Relations has sent out special enforcement teams to look for businesses in non-compliance with heat standards. The Department of Labor and Workforce has activated the heat alert network with radio messages in multiple languages. The Department of General Services is notifying and educating its large employee base of hot weather precautions. Here are the things you need to keep in mind to prevent a heat-related illness. First, keep plenty of drinkable water on hand at all times and keep yourself hydrated. Avoid strenuous activities during the peak heat of the day, which is in the mid to late afternoon hours. Try to do your outdoor work during the morning hours when it's coolest. And of course, never leave a child or a pet unattended in a car. This rule applies year-round. For more information on heat-related illnesses, what businesses can do to prepare for a heat wave, and what state agencies are doing to keep Californians safe this summer, check out our website at www.calema.ca.gov or talk with us directly on Twitter at CalEMA.